Hey, super buddies. So today we're gonna talk about another horror movie. Yeah! This time we're gonna be talking about House. Okay, I guess there's a couple different versions of House or a couple of different horror movies called House and not even based off of the same thing. But I'm gonna be talking about the House, where I believe it's the original House. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it is. It's a Japanese version and it was back in like the 70s, I think. That's what it looks like, okay? I'm gonna say it's the 70s, okay? It might have been the 80s. Anyways, so it's about this house that's like eats people, okay? And like you go inside the house and just like the different things inside the house eats people. Like there's this chandelier that eats people and this piano that eats people and the floorboards eats people. You know, it's kind of like Monster House where like, you know, the house just eats people except for everything inside the house eats you instead of just the house itself. And when it eats you, it's more deadly. It's not like on Monster House where you like you get eaten and you have to go to the basement and then you have to like I don't know it's but anyway so that's a Japanese horror movie and it's super cheesy and it's super like and the special effects is really not that good and it's just one of those movies that's just like what the heck is this like it's just like not even a good movie at all yet there are lots of people out there who really really like it okay they really like House and I don't understand why and I actually, you know, it's one of those movies that I kind of like, too, at the same time. It's like, well, I don't know why I like it. It's so bad. It's so poorly done. Yet at the same time, it's hilariously awesome at the same time. Okay, there's another horror movie that came out. It's around the early 90s, I think it was. Or maybe it was the late 80s. Anyways, it's called Troll 2. It's not even really a sequel. There was a Troll 1, but this... Troll 2 isn't even about the same things that Troll 1 was all about. And it's not even about trolls, it's about goblins. Is it goblins? Yeah, it's goblins. And it's basically, it's about this family who travels to this town called Nilbog. And they actually go to this town to have a vacation. Okay, it's like it's a really, really bad story because you can't relate to any of the characters, especially the father. So the father, he takes everybody to Nilbog. They don't have any, like history with this town at all they're just like this is a really small town it's got a population of 25 people and it's just like completely different than anything we've ever done so let's do it that sounds like the worst vacation i've ever heard of anyway so they go to this town and it turns out it's called nilbog because nilbog is goblin spelled backwards okay so they have to fight all these goblins and whatever and they're trying to eat people or the goblins are vegetarian and so they give people this certain food and it turns them into plants or something like that you know they start like growing twigs out of their fingers and stuff like that okay so it turns them into plants so then that way they can eat them oh yeah and then this kid's uh, dead grandfather is always coming back as a ghost and like helping him out anyways it's pretty fun so that's another one of those really really bad like cult classic movies where people lots of people love it and they watch it all the time but it's just not that good okay so, there you go. Two movies, okay? They're horribly done. Like, special effects is awful. And the writing is awful. And yet, at the same time, people love it. And they watch it all the time. And uh, there you go. So, I guess you can watch those two if you want. And I guess I will see you tomorrow. So, bye.